Hi, welcome back to Art Studio. Just continuing on here. So we've got our basics of our background colours and trees in. A lot of this you're not even going to see in this painting, but look, it doesn't matter. Okay, it's all background stuff. So I'm going to pick up a brush now and we're going to go over it and cover up some of the stuff we've got in here with a lighter colour, which is our lighter green we've mixed up. And it's just over the tops first, because this is where our light's going to be hitting the top of those trees. We've got light coming from this direction. So just tipple the top of those trees. Tipple, is that a word? I think I can use that. Sounds all right, you know what I mean. And I'm going to also pick up a little bit of yellow ochre for this side here, just to make it, break it up a little bit. Like a bit of light just hitting it in a different spot there or something. And back into the darks now and cover up some of these trunks down in the shade here. So there we go, look at that. Just goes to show you what you can get away with. The effects you can get, it's fantastic. Look at this, we're just gonna pick up a few of those lights there and I'm gonna pick up a fan brush here now and just go over the ground. That one might be better. And just pat that down like a little bit of grass on there looking good. We'll get a few highlights in there as well because the light's coming through there, through the trees. We can even pick up a bit of, bit of that light just hitting the ground and some of those colours back in there as well. A bit of muck in there, that's all right, we'll get that later. Okay, give that a little clean. Straight away it's come alive, check it out. It's looking good. All right, I'm going to pick up a bit of this colour and put that back in there in a few spots. Needs to be livened up just a little bit. Okay, back in there too. Leave a little bit of that green, doesn't matter, a bit of grass, a bit of something on the road. If it looks interesting, leave it alone. Okay, and I'm going to put in a little bit of, just a little bit of shadow on there. Don't muck around too long. We've got a jacaranda and everything to put in here. Okay, so we're getting those darks under there now. And we're going to pick up our other brush here and go into some green again. Some blacks, some darks. We probably could have done that first, but I want to just see so you can see me do the road properly before we went any further. And we'll get back into this greeny colour here as well in the foreground. It's going to look a lot better. So we've broken it up from back there. Get that green in the grass. And shadow running across the ground. And you can even use this brush. Use anything you like, it's going to work. There we go. So that's a little bit more bolder brush strokes there. Just to break it up from the background, it's a good idea. Change your brushes. If they're all looking the same, change it just to break that up from that. Okay, we'll go back to our little fan. I'm going to pick up a little bit of light that I said we're going to have just hitting on top of these. The light's coming through there. It's going to just highlight some of those areas. And before we get too much further, just tidy that up there as well. And a bit of that Volution Violet coming around the corner. How good is this colour? Look at it, it does it all for you. So easy. Look at that. There's a few car tracks coming around there. A little bit of the old knife work. Just finish off that spot. Take a bit up in there as well. Even a little bit of orange. Just makes it look all the better. A couple of spots there on the track. Don't be scared to have a go. What can happen? You can only make a mistake and then you get the chance to fix it. And it's all fun. Okay. Not worried about that too much. We're gonna come back to that. A little bit of stuff to come on the ground yet. Okay, here we go. All right, we're gonna put some, uh, better get the right brush for this. I'm gonna put in a trunk of tree of the tree here now. 
maybe just a few more little darks behind there. And also, we're going to start putting in a little bit of this, which is the darks. Leaves on the ground, a bit of a shadow is going to be a gate in here, so we can put a little bit of a shadow in there too. But these are the leaves on the ground and put a few back here as well, a little bit of pink. So we're going to put in a jacaranda. So lots of fun. This one's a little bit different to the ones I've done because it's more enveloped in this little bush scene we've got happening here. But that's all we have to do at the moment, just pat that down. We can come back to that. We're going to get the trunk of the tree up very shortly. In fact, right now, I'm going to go with a light trunk this time. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of this bit of yellow ochre, bit of that, I'm going to put in a bit more yellow ochre maybe. And we're going to put in our tree, we're going to wipe out that tree behind, but hey, that doesn't matter. Who cares about that? So we're going to get a bit of white happening in here. And like so, clean that brush, get the dark down the other side there. And we're going to start branching out. Okay. The old jacaranda. Pretty wonky some of these branches, they go in all different directions. So see if you can just emulate that. I'm doing this out of my head but it's not a bad idea to do it from a photo because you'll always get it probably more realistic. So if you're starting out and learning, always go from photos. It's not a bad idea. And don't forget, it's nice and safe if you use the W oils. You can use oil paint now without worrying about any smells, fumes, no toxicity, anything, nothing at all. So just coming up to a second break. Now a lot of this is going to be covered over. So we can get a few darks in here now and get a few little shade things happening there across the ground. Nice and dark, okay. Just coming up to another break. We might even get a little bit of light on here before we stop. I'll pick one of my medium liners up, a little bit thicker, and I'm going to go with a little bit of that and that. So we know our light's this side, so we can do that right now. Just get a little bit of light on there, because we're just about to come up to this break. And you're probably like me, you need a cup of coffee, so catch up, come back and join us for the last little session. Uh, we've got the tree underway. It's all starting to look good. We'll see you soon. Finish it off. Mm -hmm.